CNN Breaking News. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is about to speak. I want us to listen in. The world will not it will happen exactly as it happened in the south. My friends, residents of the North, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of your way you stand, and I'm responsible to your future, to your recovery of your settlements. Till now, Due to the heroity of RDF, the police, the Shin Bet, and the Mossad, we reached huge achievements in all fronts. And it causes the world to be in awe of our power and in the Middle East. First and foremost, in Iran, we destroyed most, a lot of their aerial abilities, the capability of her missiles and her nuclear program. I'm determined to do anything we need in order to prevent Iran from reaching nuclear weapon. This threat is always the top of my priorities and moreover today when you hear the declarations of Iran's leaders in order to be equipped with nuclear power. Removing this threat is the most important task in order to promise our future. We dismantled Hamas battalions, we destroyed Sinur our death and our seniors, and we brought back 194 of our hostages, and we are determined to bring the rest, 101 hostages, to bring back the torture of their families, and we are assured to complete the destruction of Hamas. In Judah and Samaria, we are killing hundreds of terrorists and infrastructure of terrorists, and we are acting in all fronts of terror. In Yemen, we attacked the Houthis, something that the international community didn't do. In Iraq, we prevented many attacks of UAVs. In Syria, we're breaking the trials, <coughs> the attempts of arming Lebanon from Iran and Hezbollah. Assad needs to know that he's playing with fire. And now in Lebanon, Hezbollah chose to attack us on the 8th of October. It's been a year. It's no longer the same Hezbollah. We brought it back dozens of years. We destroyed Nasrallah, the rest of the senior personnel, its missiles and rockets, thousands of terrorists, and destroyed the underground infrastructure of terror that's been built there for years. We attacked strategic goals around Lebanon, and we make dozens of buildings falling in Beirut, and the ground is trembling there. Citizens of Israel, three months ago, it would have been sound science fiction, but it isn't. We did it. And I'd like to say to you, in any given moment, that this war, I'm looking at all fronts. This is how I acted in the beginning of the war, to focus on Gaza and not opening a new front in Lebanon. This is how I acted a few months ago, where conditions were right to focus on Hezbollah. This is how I acted when the Iran missile attack happened, when we chose specifically when 
to retaliate and how. And this is how I act today. I look at all fronts and I see the full fi picture and I'm determined to give our soldiers, our hero soldiers, all measurements, all measures to keep, save their lives and bring back victory. This is why I will bring an agreement for the cabinet the duration of it will depend on what happens in Lebanon. We keep a whole freedom for military freedom, and if Hezbollah will rearm itself, we will attack. And it will, if 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 he'll fire missiles, if he puts trucks with missiles, we will attack. And I know it's been said that once we agree on ceasefire, we won't be able to do it. But I remind you, this is exactly what we've been told when we have a ceasefire with Gaza in order to bring back hostages, our hostages. We, they said we will not be back fighting. And we did, big time. They tell me Hezbollah will keep quiet for a year or two. And then they will attack. But Hezbollah will finish the ceasefire in order to shoot at us in the future. And we will react for any such thing. I know that many do not believe we will do it, but many didn't believe we will go on the ground in Gaza and Shifa and Khan Yunus, and we did. And in front of all the international pressure to enter Rafah in Philadelphia Axis, not only we entered, we attacked. And many didn't believe we attack in Lebanon, and we attacked there as well in huge power and sophistication that the world that surprised the world and after all of that maybe it's better to believe in our way in our determination and our commitment to victory so why doing ceasefire now there are three main reasons first focusing on the Iranian threat and I will not expand on that two refreshing the military forces and our equipment. And I'm telling you, as it's not a secret, there's been delays in bringing more weapons and arms. And this delay will finish soon. We will have advanced weaponry that will give us more power to finish our goals. And the third reason for ceasefire, detaching the front of the war from Hamas, from the second war that Hamas pressured Hezbollah to act with him. And now Hezbollah is no longer, and it will help us with the task of bringing our hostages back. We were attacked in seven fronts and we retaliated. We are changing the face of the Middle East. All of this we are doing due to our heroic soldiers and your stand and managing this war mindfully. I said many times, a good agreement is such that you can, you can make, make it a reality. And with God's help, we will make the North flourish again until the victory. You have been listening there. You have been listening there to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, really speaking on the back of an Israeli security cabinet meeting, of course, trying to uh, approve the steel uh, ceasefire deal between Israel and Hezbollah. And the Israeli security cabinet has voted, as you could hear there, uh, in favour 
of um, of a ceasefire idea, of course, to end uh, the fighting with uh, the militant group Hezbollah. And you, as you heard, the Prime Minister Netanyahu said that for three reasons they're signing on this deal right now. One, he said, was focusing on the Iranian threat, and he said he wouldn't expand on that. Two, he said it was an opportunity to refresh, he said, military forces and equipment. Uh, he talked about delays uh, in being and having more weapons and arms, uh, and then detaching the front of the war from there, uh, from uh, from Hamas, of course. But the start of his message was to the Israelis, 60,000 or so Israelis residents who have been pushed away from their homes because of the fighting with Hezbollah, and he said we will return all citizens uh, home, talking about how proud how proud he is of them.